You know what I found out? Children are some of the best teachers for my life. And uh, God sends us to them to care for them and raise them. But he sends them to us just as intentionally for the work he wants to do in our lives. In our family, Steve and Debbie and I are all pretty goal-oriented, task-driven kind of people. Enter Michelle, our second child. Uh, Michelle's totally different. Michelle, well, time didn't really matter to her. And so I think if I look back on those years when Michelle was young, uh, here are the things I would most often say to Michelle. Michelle, I love you. Michelle, forgive me. And Michelle, hurry up, we're late. <laughs> and it had no impact on her. She just took her time. Time was not a big deal to her. And if she wasn't ready, she wasn't ready. You know, we're, we're going, we're on our, we're walking somewhere. Michelle's back here looking at the daisies. And you know, the rest of us are trying to get somewhere, whether it's literally go somewhere or whether it's uh, get something done. And, and she just enjoyed the things that were happening around her. And as she got older, the difference, her tension and our tension were, were increasing. And so I was talking to a friend of mine, and she's a counselor, and so I was telling her about this difference between Michelle and the rest of us. And she said, well, Judy, it's like in your family, you speak German. And, and Steve and you and, and, and Debbie, you speak German really well. And Michelle speaks French. And she has tried so hard to learn German, but it's not her natural mother tongue and so she'll speak German with you for a while but then she's going to revert back to speaking French and occasionally you all reach out to speak French to her but it's like German's our language and she said it's okay if Michelle speaks French it's okay to be different it's okay that not everybody in a family or an office team, or a project situation, it's gonna be the same. And we need to learn to let them be who they are and to see what they have to teach you. Oh my goodness, did Michelle teach me some things. For Michelle, it wasn't ever the destination. It was always the journey. And I learned so much from her about uh, relaxing in the journey and to give people the freedom to be who they are and not expect them to conform to what I think is, is best. That there's much to learn and benefit from in the journey besides getting where you're trying to go. And so again, God just given me a gift through this girl uh, and he still does. And he prepares and equips me for the ways he's going to use me now and in the future through the lessons I learned from my children.